Hello everyone and welcome to lecture number 4. We are uh, with uh, paper number 4801, unit number 1, microwaves and transmission line. In last lecture, we have seen, up to last lecture, we have seen some of the properties, some of the definitions, some of the terms which is related to two-wire transmission line, right? Is related to two-wire transmission line, two-wire two-wire transmission line, okay? In that, we have seen uh, characteristics impedance, reflection coefficient, VSWR, that is voltage standing wave ratio, okay? And we have also calculated one uh, small example related to that. Now, we all know that, as we all know that, this two-wire transmission line is having limitations. Right? There are number of limitations. So, what to do with that limitations? How you can go with higher frequencies? What you can use? to work with higher frequency signal. To work with higher frequency signals, we can use, we can use waveguides. We can use waveguides, right? We can use waveguides. To use higher frequency signal, to use higher frequency signal, we can use waveguides, right? We can use waveguides. Now, what are waveguides? Let us understand that what is waveguide, right? Waveguide is nothing but, waveguide is nothing but a hollow metallic tubes, they are nothing but hollow metallic tubes. Right? They are nothing but hollow metallic tubes. They are nothing but hollow metallic tubes. Okay? Yeah. So, consider a hollow metallic tube over here and this is the circumference right it is having some thickness it is having some amount of thickness right it is having some amount of thickness this is made up of a metal conducting metal this will be made up of metal and electromagnetic or TEM waves, TEM waves, TEM means nothing but transverse electromagnetic waves will travel through some multiple internal reflections. It will travel through this hollow tube. Remember, it is a hollow, it is hollow. Let us Let us imagine a kind of square box and it is a hollow tube, remember, it is a hollow metallic structure in which transverse electromagnetic waves, transverse electromagnetic waves will travel through multiple reflections, multiple reflections. Remember this word, multiple reflections, multiple inner wall reflections, multiple inner wall reflections. multiple inner wall reflection, right? So, what is the advantage of using this waveguide? This is nothing but waveguides. 
This is a specially a rectangular blueprint. This is a rectangular waveguide. In similar way, you can also have circular waveguide. You can have uh, elliptical waveguide. You can have uh, uh, you can have uh, elliptical body, rigid body waveguide, and you can have double rigid waveguide, right? But in this our syllabus, we will focus on the rectangular waveguides. We will focus on the rectangular waveguides. There are numbers of number of waveguides are there available, but we will study more or less rectangular waveguides, right? Now we are dealing with TEM waves. That is nothing but transverse electromagnetic waves. The meaning of transverse electromagnetic wave. Understand. Try to understand physically what is the meaning of physical meaning of transverse electromagnetic wave. Is the electric field and magnetic field both the electric and magnetic field will be perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Right will be perpendicular to the direction of a propagation. Okay. Let us understand the EM waves. Let us understand what is transverse electromagnetic wave. Suppose this is an X. This is. Right, so this is a three-dimensional, and this is a direction of propagation. Direction of propagation of wave. Right, then. We can have electric field like this. Right? Electric field like this, and it will have an electric field vectors. It will have electric field vectors. It will have electric field vectors. These are electric field vectors. Now you can see if this is the direction of propagation. This is x. This is y. This is z. Then z is the direction of a propagation of a wave with electric field. These are electric field. Then it is perpendicular to the direction. It is perpendicular to the direction in the similar way. In the similar way, for the EM wave. For DM waves, magnetic field will also magnetic field will also be perpendicular Right, magnetic field is also perpendicular. Magnetic field is also perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Right, you can see this is magnetic field. This is magnetic field. This is magnetic field. Why? This is an electric field. This is an electric field. Electric field is also perpendicular to the magnetic field and is also perpendicular to the propagation. Right? Why? You can see magnetic field. Is perpendicular to electric field, or is perpendicular and is perpendicular to the propagation of wave, direction of propagation of wave. This is also perpendicular inverse of this, and this is perpendicular to this also. So all the three terms, which are three terms, that is electric field direction, electric field vector direction, magnetic field vector direction, and the direction of the wave propagation, all are perpendicular to each other. Then that is. The transverse electromagnetic waves. That is nothing but transverse electromagnetic waves. That is nothing but transverse electromagnetic waves. Okay. Now we have studied waveguides, and this transverse 
transverse electromagnetic waves will travel inside wave guides through multiple inner wall reflections remember multiple inner wall reflections right okay so moving ahead today we will derive the equation or we will uh, understand the propagation of waves in rectangular wave guides propagation of waves in a rectangular wave guide okay <clears throat> let us start our equation now let us start our derivative we will see the propagation of waves in rectangular wave guide okay first of all let me draw the wave guide structure i think we have already drawn but it is in theory so let me draw it again This is near about structure, and this is B, where this is A, this is the height, this is zero point, this is x direction, this is uh, y direction, this is z direction, right? This is z direction in which the wave is going to be propagated inside this wall. Okay. Now we are going to start the theory. Name <clears throat> propagation of waves in rectangular wave guides. Now, first of all, let us understand that what is the purpose of doing this theory, and why we want to study this propagation for a rectangular wave guide. The reason is the reason is that TEM wave, transverse electromagnetic wave, cannot transverse electromagnetic wave cannot exist in rectangular wave guide. Cannot. exist in rectangular wave guides this cannot exist in rectangular wave guides right we want to prove that transverse electromagnetic wave cannot exist in rectangular wave guide why because rectangular wave guides only supports transverse electric and transverse magnetic waves rectangular wave guides only supports remember this word this only supports only supports transverse electric and transverse magnetic waves rectangular wave guides only supports transverse electric and transverse magnetic waves right it does not suppose so if you want to pass an information using these wave guides then you need to have a signal with transverse electric mode or transverse magnetic mode right where you will only have transverse electric means only electric field will be perpendicular to the direction of propagation and magnetic field will not be perpendicular in terms of transverse electric magnetic field will have some component some vector in the direction of propagation right let us start our theory this is the title of it and in the diagram of the theory now the wave equation the wave equation 
for transverse electric and transverse magnetic waves are given by given by del square of h of z is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon h of z for e e waves where electric field of z component will be zero this e is at zero is nothing but electric field will not have any component in the z direction in the z direction remember z is nothing but the direction of propagation and similarly we will have del square e of z is equal to minus of omega square mu epsilon e of z for EL waves where h of z will be equal to zero. Now expanding expanding dual square E of z in rectangular coordinates. in rectangular coordinate system we will get del square e of z by del x square plus del square e of z by del y square plus del square e of z by del z square is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon e of z minus omega square mu epsilon e of z let us write this is equation number one let us consider this is equation number one okay now since The wave is propagating in Z direction. Since the wave is propagating in Z direction, we can have the operator. We can have the operator that is del square by del z square is equal to gamma square is equal to gamma square and substituting this uh, gamma square substituting the operator in equation 1 substituting the operator in equation 1 we will have we will have del square e of z by del x square plus del square e of z by del y square plus gamma square e of z is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon e of z here mu and epsilon both are uh, permeability and permittivity right okay so don't get confused therefore making that term on this side del square e square by del x square plus del square e z by del y square plus gamma square omega square mu epsilon into E of z is equals to zero. E of z is equals to zero. 
Now let let gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to x square b a b a constant b a constant then we will have then we will have del square z by del x square plus del square y by del x square del y square plus x square e of z is equal to 0 for this is for pm wave this is for pm wave now similarly <coughs> similarly Similarly, we will have del square h of z by del x square plus del square h of z by del y square plus h square h of z is equal to 0 for Transverse electric wave. Transverse electric wave. Now, by solving the above partial differential equation, we get the solution for by solving by solving the above partial equation. <coughs> we get the solution or we will get the solution of E of Z and H of Z means we will get the Z component of electric field and the Z component of magnetic field this is nothing but the Z component of electric field and nothing but the Z component of magnetic field right <coughs> now over here we will use some of the Maxwell's equation we will use some of the Maxwell's equation from Maxwell's first equation from <coughs> Maxwell's first equation we have we have delta cross H is equal to J omega epsilon e right now this can be expanding so expanding expanding delta cross h that is we will get determinants of i cat j cat k cat del by del x del by del y del by del z h of x, h of y and h of z is equals to j omega epsilon over here we can also have e of x plus j cat e of y plus k cat e of z ok now over here what we will do is we will replace Replacing del by del z is equal to minus gamma n operator. Replacing del by del z is minus of gamma as an operator, and we will get we will get the replacement of this term by minus of gamma, right? We we'll get the replacement of the term as minus of gamma. Now equating the coefficients, if <coughs> e 
equating coefficients, if i get k get and we get b get, further equating, we will get further we get further solving and equating the equation, we will get three equations that is del h of z by del y plus gamma h of y is equals to <coughs> gamma h of y is equals to j omega epsilon e of x this is equation number 4 this is equation number 4 right <coughs> Let us say this is equation number 4. The equation which we have got for uh, TEM wave and TE wave is equation number 2 and equation number 4. Right? That is uh, TM and TE wave that is equation number 2 and equation number 3. Okay? That is equation 2 and equation number 3. That is substituting the value of h square. The equation containing h square term for transverse magnetic wave is equation number 3, equation number 2 and the equation containing the h square term for TE waves that is equation number 3. This is equation number 4. Similarly, we will have del of h of z by del x plus gamma h of x is equal to minus j with a epsilon e of y this is equation number 5 del h of y by del x minus del h of x by del y is equal to j omega epsilon e of z right so we have three terms that is ex ey and ez all three terms now, this is, you can see, the, these are EZ, EX and EY terms related to the H component that is electric field and uh, magnetic field. Is, this H is this H, this H, this H is nothing but the magnetic field component. Similarly, similarly, similarly. Similarly, from Maxwell's second equation, from Maxwell's second equation, we have delta cross E is equal to minus of J omega mu H. We start think about minus of J omega mu H and expanding this. Expanding the above equation, we will get, expanding the above equation, we will get, that is, let me write the whole determinant, i cat, j cat, k cat, given by del by del x, del by del y, del by del z, this is e of x, e of y, this is e of z, this is E, previously it was H. So, replacing this term, replacing this term as minus gamma, further we will have, further we will have I cat, J cat, P cat, del by del x, del by del y. This is, this will be, remember this will be minus of gamma and x, y, z is equal to minus j is equal to minus j omega mu inside we have i cat h of x plus j cat h of y plus k cat h of z. Okay? Now, expanding and equating for this determinant, by solving this determinant, we will get Another three equations that is 
then E of Z by del Y plus gamma E of Y is equal to minus J omega mu H of X. This is equation number seven. Then E of Z by del X plus gamma E of X is equal to plus j omega mu h of y this is equation number 8 and del e of y by del x minus del y by del y is equal to minus j omega mu h of z this is equation number 9 this is equation number 9 we Again, we get three equations that is with respect to the H magnetic field component, right? Magnetic field component with respect to electric field in three directions. Okay. Now, moving ahead, what we will do is equation number four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. We will try to find out the value. Of this components by solving equation number four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. So, trying to starting to solve them now. Rearranging. Rearranging. Equation number eight. We will get h of y is equal to one by j omega mu del e of z by del x plus gamma j omega mu e of x and we will get the value of h of y we will get the value of h of y now substituting this value substituting Substituting the value of h of y in substituting the value of h of y in equation number four. Substituting the value of h of y in equation number four, we will get we will get the equation is del h of z by del y plus gamma by j omega mu dot del e of z by del x plus gamma square divided by j omega mu e of x is equal to j omega epsilon e of x. Now, equating the above equation further, we get e of x we are trying to solve this term, this term and this term, we will get E of x into j omega epsilon minus gamma square by j mu <coughs> j omega mu this is uh, gamma square is equal to gamma divided by j omega mu dot that e of z by del x plus del h of z by del y plus del h of z by del y now multiplying Multiplying the above equation with j omega mu, we will get, we will get, multiplying the above equation by j omega mu, we will get the equation as ex into minus omega square mu 
x naught minus of gamma square is equals to gamma del e of z by del x plus j omega b del h of z by del of y. Now rearranging this term, e of x minus of omega square mu epsilon plus gamma square is equal to gamma del e of z by del x plus j omega mu del h of z by del y where substituting this term as x square you might have recalled is equals to x square is equals to x square we will get we will get e of x is equals to minus gamma by x square del e of z by del x minus of j omega mu divided by x square by del h of z by del y <coughs> h of z by del y you can see this is the term for the x component of electric field this is the term of x component of electric field right similarly you can have the term for y component of electric field and similarly you can also have the electric field for z component this is nothing but the electric field given in x direction electric field given by x direction this will be given by this formula right now similarly Similarly, we will also have e of y. As I told you, we will also have e of y. That is minus of gamma h square del e of z by del y plus j omega mu by h square dot del h of z by del of x. This is the term for E of Y. Remember, this is the term for E of Y. Okay. This is the term for the electric field in Y direction. This is the electric field of Y component, Y direction. And similarly, you can also have H of X in the similar way, in the similar way, in the similar way, by expanding all those things. You can also have the combination from equation 4, 5, 6 and equation 7, 8, 9. You can also find out the value of h of x and h of y is equals to minus of gamma by h square del h of z by del x plus j omega epsilon by h square del e of z by del y. This is h of x. Let me write h of y is equal to minus of gamma by h square del h of z by del y minus j omega epsilon h square del e of z by del x. So this is the final equations, right? We have derived the equations for E of X, E of Y, H of X and H of Y. Now, over here, we have, this is the equations, we have, we know that, we know that for transverse electromagnetic wave for For transverse electric wave, we have transverse electromagnetic wave, we will have E of Z and H of Z will be 0. E of Z and H of Z will be 0. This is for ideal condition. Right? 
but this equation is for rectangular wave guides. Rectangular wave guides. This equation. These equations are for rectangular wave guides. Now, if you substitute, if you substitute this value, if you substitute this value and this value over here, over over here, this value over here, then then what is going to happen is what is going to happen is your E y component will become zero. E y component will become zero means eventually your electric field vectors will be vanishing. It will be zero. If you substitute this in this at this place, if you substitute this at this place, if you substitute this value over here, if you substitute this value over here, then it is going to be zero. You will have this term zero, this term zero, and this term zero. So the conclusion is, conclusion of this point is, you cannot have transverse electromagnetic wave. This wave, this wave cannot exist in rectangular wave guide. Wave cannot exist in rectangular wave guides. Transverse electromagnetic wave cannot exist in rectangular wave guides. Rectangular wave guides, rectangular wave guides, rectangular wave guides can support PE and PM waves. Right? Rectangular wave guides can only support transverse electric and transverse magnetic wave. Both are separate modes. This transverse electric mode is the mode in which only electric field is perpendicular, 100% perpendicular to the Z direction, that is nothing but the direction of propagation, in which TE mode magnetic field can be there, can have some vectors in the direction of propagation. Why? In TM, vice versa, magnetic field will be completely transverse. Transverse is nothing but it will be perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So whether it is Tm, magnetic field will be perpendicular to E, electric field will be perpendicular. The next term, it will have some component in Z direction, right? So this is all about the propagation of Tm waves in rectangular waveguides. Okay? Thank you.